Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm back with a new review over the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I decided I was going to give it five days of wear to see if I truly like it or not. Just think first impressions aren't always the final impression of a product. I could love something at that moment and then try it down the line and hate it or vice versa. Now let's first get into the claims of this foundation. It says it's good for photos, um, full coverage, natural matte, flawless skin day to night, so long lasting, oil free, lightweight, feels natural, blur effect, and you can build it up or share it out. As for the powder, the claims are it locks in the makeup, it's ultra fine and long wearing, soft focus matte finish without feeling heavy or looking cakey, and no flashback. So before I move on to the days, I'm going to tell you that I'm not that big into full coverage. I don't think it looks good on me, and I'm more of a light medium kind of gal, so I mostly like to kind of apply it with a beauty blender and just give it a light touch and whatever blemishes or imperfection I'll use the concealer. So if you're looking for more of a full coverage review, there's plenty out there, but I'm going to stay in my light to medium realm. So on this side of my face is going to be the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and on the other side is going to be the Pore Vanishing Moisturizer Matte Hydrating Plus Primer. applying this just to the pore areas just to fill them in. So now that my face is all set I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop uh, no filter foundation in the shade light 70. So this is my regular skin and this is with the foundation. is 9.41. So it's around 2.30 right now. I'm like shiny around the nose area. I've been shiny around the forehead for a while and then I'm starting to get kind of shiny on the cheeks. Some blotting paper. I just blot to show you how much oil I'm extracting. So my phone is charging and it is 8.18 and after blotting it, my face, it did take off quite a lot of my, pretty much took off all my highlighter and my blush and my contour and it left me with like a, a dry spot right here where the foundation was clinging to the dry spots right here and as you can see my face is shiny again so I'm going to blot it For day two, um, I used a matte primer, one and a half pumps, a matte setting spray, which I sprayed twice, a brush with the no filter powder to set under my eyes, the lines, my smile lines, and my nose. And I started at 11. Three hours in, my nose got a bit oily, and I had to use three blotting sheets. And by the end of the night, my oil I had oils, but less than the first day. My makeup looked like it stayed intact and was still in my smile line, but it was much more comfortable than the first day. The first day I wanted to take it off right at 8 o'clock. Now for day three, 
I used half double wear and half um, ColourPop. And I used the Smashbox primer and a little bit of pore minimizing and the RCMA powder with a little bit of the ColourPop powder mixed in. And a matte setting spray. And my start time was 11.30. Around 6.45 um, I got a little bit oily. I only had to use one blotting sheet on my ColourPop side and it was still looking good. And it looked pretty similar to my double wear side, except my double wear side wasn't oily. And it held up pretty well. And I'm thinking that's because of the RCMA powder. And But it still transferred if I rubbed on it, but it wasn't in my smile line. As for day four. I used my Wet n Wild on one side and I set that with the ColourPop powder and then the other side was my ColourPop foundation and I set it with my RCMA powder. And I was using the Lancome primer with a little bit of pore minimizing and a matte setting spray. And my start time was 11 o'clock. At around 3.30 um, the ColourPop side was getting a little oily and I had to blot it with two sheets and I found it in my smile line and I also used a brush to apply my ColourPop just to see what it would look like even though I don't normally use a brush and then around 9.54 my nose got oily and the ColourPop side was much more oily than the wet and wild side and both side felt kind of tacky. So today is actually day five of the foundation test and I am wearing ColourPop all over my face and I was trying to give this powder another chance by putting it all over my face to set it and I used a matte moisture primer that I did on the first day and it's midday and my nose is oily and the sides I decided to switch it up and I set my face a little bit more with the RCMA on this side and it got rid of my smile line. The foundation was going into my smile line. So, it has not been the end of the day yet, but looking at my face, I'm just getting more and more oily, so I think I can just make my final um, verdict at this moment. <laughs> the best combo that I found to work for this foundation is a really good matte primer, then setting it with a powder that is not ColourPop, and setting it with a matte spray if you want it to lock, fully lock in your face. After trying this for five days, I can say that I like this product, but I don't love it. This just doesn't replace my double wear, and it doesn't even replace my double wear light. So I'm going to still continue to use this since I bought it, but just I would not repurchase it because I don't want to have to keep going through those steps just to use this, whereas if I use double wear I can pretty much use any primer with it and it works and my oils still stay pretty locked in, but this one's just a little more high maintenance. So if you don't mind that then by all means try it, but make sure that you don't use too much because it will sink into your fine lines. The combination of these two does not help oils at all. I probably compare this with my other foundations because I know they're pretty good at controlling my oils. I'm just really picky with powders and this really did nothing for me. So those are my thoughts on the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation and their powder. I hope this was helpful. I guess I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye guys!